Uh, so the, the title is already a little bit strange. Uh, uh, so it was some scripted problems. In the Euclidean plane. Well, actually, I have to say it's not a honest uh, title. There is one honest part of it is this, because I mainly speak about some problems. The other part is not clearly defining what we are. I'm talking. I'll be talking about. Anyhow, it's not about uh, constructing compli complicated subsets of the Euclidean plane. Uh, so, so I'll uh, before uh, des describing this problem, I have to put some uh, make a review about uh, what is behind. And uh, I have to say first, maybe that all mainly most of all, what I'll say is from joint work with Jean Farimont from Paris. Okay, well, initially we were looking for a descriptive subset, complicated descriptive spaces or sets, whatever, coming from uh, classical analysis. And uh, one uh, natural thing we looked at is to look at some uh, topological notions and try to compute the, their complexity. To be a little bit more concrete, we, in fact, uh, looked at the notion of connectedness. And some uh, variation like local connectedness or pathwise connectedness. So want to say how, how complicated these notions are. So to give some concrete meaning for this, one way for doing it is to fix some universal, some universal space and look what is the com complexity of, still you have to restrict some nice spaces, a compact, polish or something. Well, uh, it turns out, first of all, that compactness or working with compactness or uh, uh, being Polish is, uh, might make a difference. So let me first, okay, fix also annotation. C of X will be denoted uh, closed, compact, uh, closed connected subset. Ah. So in the sequel, X will be uh, a polished phase. And we we'll define LC of X the similar way. And PC of X. So as I said, we can fix X to be uh, some uh, uh, universal space and look at this. And uh, first of all, uh, in the compact case, Things are a little bit special, at least for the first two ones, because oh, maybe for, before I mention this, why we looked at this these notions? Because of course we were looking to have 
to, uh, for, to no, uh, finding notions which are complicated, is beyond the Borel hierarchy. And these were very uh, good candidates because when you, you, if you imagine writing the definition of any one of these, you will always start by for any there exist and with uncountable quantification uh, in, for, all, for both of them. For example, uh, C of X, you have to say, what, what does it mean that, uh, let's say, F is, in, say, F is a cross subset of X? Yeah, I didn't mention that uh, when I speak about uh, Borel uh, hierarchy in the cross subset of X, of course, it's uh, relatively to uh, well, any of the canonic, well, canonical, classical, let's say, Borel structure on the associated to Polish, Polish space, uh, to the closed subset, sorry, of, of the Polish space. You have to say, for example, it's connected. You say, say for example, well, the, if probably the easiest thing is that for any uh, F, F will be always closed. Oh, different from the empty set and X. Uh, you say you say the, set, the space is connected. Uh, there is no closed set which is open. And uh, here the quantification is, is obviously you cannot reduce it to countable things. And then you have only to write correctly what it means. It's not open, and you can see check and that it is a pi one one condition. It is. Uh, Sorry, uh, yeah, it's not open. Open is pi one one, so uh, it's not open. It's sigma one one, and so this gives you. In fact, you can check very easily that for all these notions, you have at two two quantifiers which are uh, on uncountable sets. So so they are very good uh, pi one two candidates. However, in the compact case, these are little bit special because uh, it's well known that C of X is, B is closed. And uh, you also can check that this space is Borel, which in fact is pi zero three. Um, so the first non-trivial case is this one, and and this was uh, uh, something which was known some time ago. Let me write it as theorem. I think it was independently mentioned by Einstein. I'm not sure of the writing. You know, is it Y G? It was not. Yeah, and uh, Becker, Ho Becker, uh, which, uh, which says that That this state can even in the compact case can be pi one two complete. Now, if we quit the compact case and go to the Polish case, so of course for for P C of X, it's well it will be pi one two complete for this, since you can realize it was a compact space already, but we had already proved that. Uh, well, there exists the Polish space such that local connected subset is pi one two complete. Oops. 
Uh, however, for the last one, in fact, I, I didn't, uh, oh, for the second one, sorry. Uh, for the last one, it's already done. For the second one, so look, I, we didn't try to write the definition, but again, you have to say, well, one way is to say there is a, uh, for any point, there is a, a, a basis of neighborhood which is connected. Uh, and again, there you have these two quantifiers for all and there exist. But however, it turns out that, uh, in fact, for all x, let me polish. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> this was for connected. Uh, I'm lost. No, C of X is already, uh, and, uh, yeah. What What is missing? Uh, we said, oh, PC of X is, you know, I changed the order in my mind, so I'm sorry. Uh, so this one is about C of X. So the, the this one was about pathwise connected. And so the first part is that local connectedness is in fact much simpler than pi one two. It is in a class gamma, which is, can write it like this, which will be maybe more or less clear. This is the class obtained from pi one one set by Suslin scheme and going to complements. So the, the set of locally connected subset of polyspace is the complement of uh, the result of a Suslin scheme on pi one one set. And of course, the interesting part is that This is the best you can say. You cannot go below this complexity. Oh, maybe yes. So if you look to the classical hierarchy, let's say you have the delta one one classes, then you have sigma one one, pi one one, and then you make you can make a lot of things, differences, and so, and then pi one uh, pi one two and sigma one two, and you have delta one two, and this one is uh, at let's say the beginning, uh, it's here. Uh, one way to uh, to measure it is to think if you know this uh, stuff is uh, using Mosco Moscovaki's uh, uh, operator game, yeah, the game operator, and so this is uh, exactly game of uh, difference. Uh, yeah, two two yes. yes. You too. And you know, before arriving to Delta one, two, you have, uh, uh, you can, you have the game operator applied to any Borel class, bear class. So it's really at the beginning when you quit uh, the first uh, projective class. Okay. Now the, 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 the tricky thing in all these, is that uh, uh, I said at the beginning you can fix uh, 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 some uh, universal space and work, and I, and I didn't do it because uh, 
first of all, yeah, uh, here in this case, uh, well, it turned out that in all cases, in all these, ex there exists, there exists, there exists, the space uh, is, can be localized in, in R3. You can construct it in R3, in the Euclidean space. In this case, actually, for compact space, since any compact, I mean, seeing that there is a compact, if you have such a compact, say, say, it will be in some cube, and the, 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 the associated set will not be simpler than the one of the X. So you can say here, X is equal to the unit cube. It's, it's, doesn't say more. So this is constructed in uh, in, in the okay. And uh, the intriguing thing that is uh, all attempt to make similar results in R2 meet a kind of very very uh, hard uh, obstacle which is a mixture of, uh, of course, descriptive, the descriptive part, you want to construct a complicated thing in the, space, in the hyperspace of R2. In the, uh, uh, already you have to construct the poly space. In, uh, unlike the compact space, it's not, it's not canonical. You have to construct it such that it's closed subset, it's complicated. But then, the, and this is what my main home, my main goal in this, uh, Actually, to try to explain why, why where are the obstacle comes from. So, uh, well, when essentially it is because the Euclidean plane is not uh, thick enough. So, maybe uh, to explain the problem, uh, the, well, the, here as you see, you have to construct poly spaces. There are some uh, quite technical parts because you, it's not. Here, at least, you don't have this part. So I'll, I'll try to explain what happens here. So how, essentially, the, the, well, the scheme of proof of this uh, first result can be done? Well, there are, anyhow, in all these results, when you want to construct uh, you want to prove that something is complete, so maybe I have to say just a few words. Uh, I think people are, are uh, familiar with this. How you prove concretely that something is complete? That if you you have suppose you have a class gamma, and you want to and you have a set A, and you want to prove that is gamma complete. So this means that it, it can reduce any set in gamma, and it, all classes we are working uh, with are what's called wage classes, so they have some generating set. So you, or otherwise you start for any, any set, set A0 in gamma, and you have to construct, say, in Super Omega, and this one is in some space X, and you have to prove that for any, such that there exists continuous function uh, such that which reduces a zero to a. Uh, so you, which means that your function will give you a lot of elements in A, a lot of elements outside the way. So when you do something like this, this means concretely that you have some, at least uh, algorithm, but in fact continuous by continuous functions, to construct, say, connected or locally connected subset and non-locally connected or non-connected subset. So you have to produce a whole zoo of this of these sets, and uh, so how the uh, for, for for let's go back to the case of the compact 
uh, set space, the, the result of Ashtai and Becker. So first of all, you have to have in mind some general scheme of constructing sets which might be connected or non-connected. And the frame of the scheme is the following. You start, anyhow, you have, you have to know that there are non-passwords -con non connected subsets. The classical example is the, the graph of uh, the sinus uh, one over X, or if you, the, it's linearized form. So you start from something like this. So this is zero one. And uh, you, you add here, so these are more and okay. This you add, you have the graph of this, uh, this graph, and you have this limit uh, interval. This is connected, this is the, the graph of a continuous function, it's password is connected. So its closure is connected, but the closure is not a passwise connected. You cannot go from a point here to any of these points through a pass. Okay, so we start from something like this. And now for reason which will appear afterwards. So I am in the plane now. So I, I have this interval that I add in my construction. And I, this interval, I will extend it up to here. As you see, this is connected to this, but this is not connected to this. Now, at, from any uh, peak here, add a smaller picture like this one. And add the, it's, uh, accumulation long interval and so on okay now this is just a fixed construction uh, okay so now is this connected uh, this is connected it's it, in fact this is what i draw if i do what i said it is passwise connected because you can go from one point here to any point. And if you, the only point is to see that you can join these intervals from any part here. But you can go from here, go slightly here, and go check, check, and you reach the, the, the interval here. So you have a path going from any point of this to this one, which is connected to this one, and from this one you can go to other intervals, so everything is connected. Now, this construction I made, that I made, obviously the, it is, the, 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 there is a, a, a the, I mean, so if I want to be formal, the, the, the parameters which are in uh, uh, finite sequences of integers, you can do it for any subset which means that you will add only for, well, S will be, say, a tree to be, uh, well, to be explicit. Suppose S is a tree, and you make the same construction, but you add only the, the sparse for the nodes of the tree, S. And in fact, what would we uh, see just immediately before, that if S, has an infinite branch, then the compact, oh, I, I did mention this is a compact subset, say, say K sub S, is password connected. Because you follow the branch to go from any, what exists. Well, what we said is that the, the, the whole space is, uh, is, has infinite branch. But now it's not difficult to see, you can imagine at least that if, if F has not, has no infinite branch, you cannot go from here to here. 
you try to go and at some point you are stuck. Okay, so what did you, what, what did we prove? We proved already that this mapping in fact, reduces the uh, L thousand trees to uh, password connected surface of the plane. But L thousand and well, uh, and uh, well thousand, this is uh, pi one one, sigma one one uh, partition only. So it proves already that this, even in the plane, actually, the locally connect, uh, password connected is not simpler than, uh, and uh, sigma one one. Uh, so, but with, this was not the question because we are asking about pi one two is the case for for R three. Now, why uh, we can do it? We can go to R in R three to uh, pi one two because well, I'm not going to uh, make things uh, formal. But imagine that instead of, well, imagine now we are in R3. Um, let's say this is the origin, and this is the, the z axis. So this is horizontal. Okay, in this in this plane, you make the same construction. Well, which means that you have some S that you put here with, you, with which you make the same construction. Now, fix here a copy of the counter set, and in each plane uh, with parameter say alpha, make a construction here of the same type associated to some set S sub alpha. Then what happens if you see that if for all alpha here, the S alpha are uh, satisfy the same condition, that then it will be connected, passwise connected in the plane. But here in all these we put, you remember these, at the end of the first construction. So you can reach all of these. And so you can pass from one to the other. But if in some, if for some alpha, it's the condition is not realized, you cannot even go in the plane from, I, I am adding all, ah. Yeah, the, oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I, I am adding the z-axis. This is the important thing. Yes, uh, you have to connect them, but to, to this one. But you cannot go from one level to another. So, and what, now you can make things precise and see that this construction can be made by a continuous function with some parameter. And what you get is that the, when you're, so the, the condition which makes things work, well, it will be password if for our alpha, you have some uh, S alpha, which is uh, uh, L founded. And this is clearly a uh, pi one two complete condition, and this is how it is. But you see, uh, the main point is that we had this uh, liberty of adding this dimension. And if you want to imagine something in the plane, you see, you, you, you need to have a lot, I mean, you, you have to construct, you have to realize a construction which is parameterized by something like this. And so for each alpha, you will have some continuum uh, sets you are constructing. And uh, 
The problem in the plane that is you have to, as you see in the in the in the first in the plane construction we made at, at the beginning, uh, we we made the construction by uh, starting by by small pieces that we 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 glued. But if you do something like this in a, with continually many, and in the plane set, the, your sets will have a lot of meat, and you create a lot of passwise connected if you are not willing to do. I agree, this is not, uh, cannot transform it in a mathematical <laughs> sentence, but it's really a big, big uh, serious problem. And it's not uh, unlike that is not the case in the plane. Actually, uh, as we, I mentioned, this uh, Ashtai Becker proof uh, shows already that in the plane it at least as complicated as sigma 1 1. In fact, we were able to prove a little bit more. There exists in the plane a Polish space X such that uh, oh let me let me write it like this. So by this, I mean it's not simpler than the class gamma and the class gamma is the same. You cannot, we are sure not to go, go below this class. Uh, now, of course, this, this uh, result might suggest that this class is in some sense uh, quite uh, natural in analysis. It's true that you have only to see if there is a, a branch and these are kind of things. But the point is that if it is not the case, so if the, the, the complexity is simpler than what is announced by the definition, this concretely means that there is some, uh, some simpler criterion to check that the set is passwise connected. And then, Okay, uh, maybe it's a lack of knowledge, but uh, I don't know about anything like this concerning the plane. And you might think that, I mean, there have been enough people looking to, to, to uh, connected and uh, passwise connected subsets of the plane that if there was some criterion, maybe. To, but of course, it might be a criterion which is not of the kind of criterion topologists look like because there are some ordinal or some, I don't know. But there, there is something strange uh, in this. And uh, so I hope somebody in the audience might write on the situation someday or today even, it's really better. Uh, now, the, the, the interesting thing is that there are uh, quite a bunch of problems of with, which are quite different. As you see, we cannot derive from any of these results another one. They are, it's not because you know that connected subspaces are complicated that you can derive that locally connected in the, there are disjoint sets. Uh, I mean, there are sets which are in the, 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 the symmetric difference. So it's, uh, but in all the, because I, Try to explain the things about passwise connectors because the, the proof or the Ashtai Baker is quite simple, but you have the same complication when you try to, add, to, to arrange what, you, what is done here. And there are a lot of other uh, problems of the same, where well, it's the same obstacle. Let me mention one which is connected to this uh, material. Now, suppose you have, uh, let's say, even compact. So, 
subset of the plane. Morally, not uh, well connected between the continuum. But uh, morally, not pathwise connected. And you can look to the equivalence relation of, co of pathwise connectedness. So two elements are equivalent if there is a path going from one more to other. Now this, uh, so two elements are connected if there exists some arc and band you can, you can check or at least it's known that uh, the set of arcs, I mean of geometric of the set of compact sets which are, which have some parameters in it, huh? uh, is a Borel set. And uh, so uh, to be in the to be equivalent means there exists some uh, some compact set in the Borel family of compact sets such that and then you have some closed uh, relation. So this is a, a sigma one one equivalence relation. And now the, there is a, a result by. Baker and Paul. Which says that if. Uh, each class of this equivalence relation is Borel. The ways of right. And uh, and again, it's not known uh, if this equivalence relation is uh, always Borel or not. Actually, there is well, what you can have as uh, classes in these, uh, you you might have just one arc or a circle something, these are, might appear, and these are uh, compact or at least K sigma sets. In the, in the, here, if it is real arc, it's compact, but it might, you might not have the limit, uh, like the sinus one over X. So it's at, at most uh, K sigma. And the main argument here is that aside this kind of classes, you have only countable many classes. This is the reason why it is correct. And, uh, but there is, it's not known how complicated these classes might be. Uh, it is not difficult to get uh, uh, G delta classes, A sigma classes, but to, to get already uh, intersection of G delta and K sigma, it needs a lot of work. So maybe all classes are all Borel of some fixed, but, but again, if it were, if it's the case, this means there is some, uh, some simple criterion which decide if two elements of, of a connect, compact subset is, are connected, are pathwise connected or not. Uh, another, Similar problem. Uh, again, I mean, why I am mentioning this? Because when you try to study the classes, you, if you want to co to construct complicated classes uh, of this, you came up with the same obstruction that I tried to indicate. You have to, you have to create complicated things, but you don't have room because things start to meet very easily, and then uh, you, you cannot control the passwise connect. Relation. Yeah. Sorry, at the beginning. Ah, yes, 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 and you can construct the uh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's again, in R3 you can do, yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm mentioning this problem. It's again, that's because it's the same obstacle you meet. In fact, they, there is a, 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 in some sense, related notion, topological notion, uh, at which we looked, which is in some sense, uh, a strong negation of connectedness, which is, uh, what is the complexity of closed? And you, uh, here it's uh, a priori the, I mean the, 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 the large, uh, the definition gives you already sigma one, two definition. In some sense it's natural because this is, because uh, zero dimension means you have a basis of Kloppen set and here you say there is no Kloppen set, it's strong negation of this one. Okay, but the, prob the problems are much complicated and in fact we don't know a lot about this, only partial information. First of all, in the compact case, of course, it's trivial. Uh, closed subset of a zero dimensional subset, it's a G delta subset of the space of compact space. It's not the point. It's again for Polish spaces that problems are complicated. And uh, in this case, in fact, we all we know is uh, is at least, so again, I'm uh, going back to Moscovaki's operator, game operator. which is much higher than the, the one we, met, we encountered first. This was the, the, game, uh, the, the set associated to games, uh, which are different of uh, uh, closed sets. And here, sigma zero two sets. But uh, there is no upper bound. I mean, there is no better bound for this and it is not, uh, and again, this is in R3. <laughs> and uh, we don't know anything about uh, the plane. So I don't know if the problem should be uh, class, I mean, should be uh, considered as descriptive set problem or topological problem, I mean, the difficult, the main difficulty, the heart of the problem might be from the topological part or the topological feature of the problem. The, from the descriptive set point of view, there is no, you cannot invent a new method for proving that something is uh, complete. So the only thing is you have to make some constructions and uh, you have to, uh, in all these uh, sets, the constructions, you have to construct a f function which could maybe here there is something special in all these sets where you are it is complete remember we are we have to construct a continuous function which goes from the let's say the counter space to the set where you are living here which is the closed subset let's say to of the unit uh, square and in all example in fact the function but this seems the only reasonable way to construct things is constructed in uh, by from the interior in which means you start to construct uh, so in general something like you start from to a s finite sequence 
you construct some say, uh, KS, well, and then for uh, alpha here in uh, two to omega, you take union and for S and make the closure. So this function have some algebraic regularity um, in some sense, they have some monotonity in the construction they, And every time you, I mean, for all construction you can imagine of this type, you, you encounter immediately the problem I tried to point that uh, if in the, in the plane, your, 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 the set will meet a lot and you cannot distinguish from the alpha the, 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 the behavior. So maybe the one has to imagine other type of construction because you have to construct a, a, a simple function, a continuous, officially continuous, though you can, uh, when you work with larger class, you can, uh, uh, you can do it, if you do it with a Borel function, it will be enough. There are some general results we can, which will allow you to say, if you have a reduction, which is not very complicated compared to those class which is, you are working with, it will be okay. But, uh, and every time in all these uh, construction, the point is whatever the construction you can imagine, you have a lot of meat between the, the elementary part of the construction and, and then uh, you cannot uh, control the. So I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Another uh, example of space where uh, this uh, equivalent uh, rational path connection is uh, analytic complete and maybe. Yeah, you. So for a reduction, you can. It is it is uh, analytic complete, yeah. and when you have some classes which yeah. are. You have um, also you know also. Uh, how it is um, in the hierarchy of the... Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I no, no, I think no, nothing is known. Yeah. So it's not reducible to an orbit. Oh, no, no, true. It has, all, uh, it has, yeah, it has uh, uh, complete uh, classes. No, no. Sorry? Oh, because we are uh, with, we are aiming to, to to compute a complexity, so you have to have some some uh, frame of descriptive frame. You have you need some uh, nice structure to say that sets are complicated or not. So, because, oh. You mean what? You, you, of course, you can look to any such set, but what does it mean it's complicated? Uh, then you have to give a meaning for this. In the, if you work with closed set, you have a topology on the space of closed set, and it, uh, which is nice topology, so you can uh, uh, have a descriptive complexity. But if you have any sets, then you have to have another uh, uh, notion of a complexity. Stupid idea that no, no. into my mind, but so the, the, the problem is is that you know if you try to do it in the plane, you have lots of self interference. Uh -huh. So this is why you like uh -huh. it. reminds me of this uh, famous problem of that K three three is not planar because you have some sort of self interference. Have you have you tried to look at rather than working in the plane, working with um, a surface with many holes with uh, like for example the, the simplest case would be a torus or maybe something like uh, uh, with, with uh, lots of holes like a uh, ig but surface, like is it possible maybe to kind of like 
Uh, but do you, 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 your function starts from a contour space and it goes in the torus. Uh, it will not, uh, it, you will not get the, co the geometrical co complexity of the torus in the image. So, you, you have to say things about the image of two points. Do you know if any of these classification changes moving from the cross set to the open set? No, actually, but again, you have to to have a st structure on the web. Copy the structure. The yeah, way. in fact, we have results for open sets also. There are changes? Yeah, for example, the connected subset, uh, open subset, is pi 1 1. And even in the plane. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's pi 1 1 complete, even in the plane. Uh, so yeah, it's the, 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 the copy of the structure is very symmetrical, <laughs> but closed and open is not all, uh, symmetrical notions. So that it's it, it, uh, actually, yeah, it's changed completely the, already for, uh, and well, uh, local connectedness, all subset will be local connected in the plane and so open. Uh, you can look also above uh, polish, and uh, strangely, if you go, for example, to analytic, because then you still have your uh, Borel structure, uh, and uh, some of these will jump highly to two levels in the projective hierarchy. But we have no idea of uh, completeness of these notions. You'll go to pi one four. Thank you.